25 of testimony in the double murder trial of Alec Murdoch. News 19's Rachel Tripp joins us live from Walterboro with an overview of the new evidence presented today. Rachel. Darcy, in the courtroom today, exact details down to the millisecond when tracking Alec, Maggie, and Paul's phones and a timeline of when they overlap. Wednesday morning, testimony continued from SLED Lieutenant Britt Dove in the trial of Alec Murdoch for the killings of his wife Maggie and adult son Paul. He started by testifying that the location services setting on Maggie's phone was limited to tracking her while using certain apps. Dove went on to explain that he got Alec's phone three months after the killings. Finding that there was a gap between June 4th and June 7th, 2021, indicating the calls were removed from the database. The witness then laid out a detailed timeline of Maggie, Alec, and Paul's texts, calls, FaceTimes, phone orientations, and phone locations leading up to the murders. He added that Paul's phone was at 2% battery around 8.45 p.m. the night of the murders, but that it did not run out of battery until 10.34 p.m. In fact, from exactly 8.44.49 to 8.45.47, evidence shows Paul's phone brought up the camera application to take a video. In this video shown in the courtroom, you can see a dog's tail being looked at and voices in the background. What do you hear in the video? You hear three different voices in the video. Um, you can tell because they're so different, you can tell that they're different voices. The defense then cross-examined Dove, confirming with him that Alec and Maggie's phones had the potential of being carried together between 8.53 and 8.55, with steps recorded during that time, but not after. Dove explained he could not say if Alec was going to his car or walking around the area when steps were recorded at 9.08 p.m. He's walking and calling his wife, and he's about... His car is about to crank a second after he stops walking, which really does seem like he's getting into the car. That's what it would appear with the times, but like I said, all I can testify to is what the information is on the devices. The defense then confirmed with Dove that the one second on Maggie's phone from 8.54.34 to 8.54.35 p.m. when her camera was activated could possibly have been a person trying to take a photo of a perpetrator if their finger was on the activation button to take the photo, but was interrupted. Now, so far this afternoon, we've heard um, Sergeant David Varnado testify. He said that he did not find any gunshot residue on Alec Murdoch the night of the murders. We also heard from a family friend, Rogan Gibson, who says he does not believe that Alec murdered Maggie and Paul. We also are hearing from another family friend, Will Loving. And something else I noted that I saw in the courtroom earlier today was Alan Wilson, the attorney general, has moved up to the prosecution table. Reporting in Walterboro, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX.